this little sh- little slip of um, section of uh, Ho Street, which is just as you come out of the station, is now dominated by estate agents and letting agents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven estate agents in this little bit alone. Martin Road, uh, which is a lovely road. £325,000 for a double bed property. That is very shocking to me. A first floor double bedroom flat for £1,000. My worry is that these pressures that are coming both from the changes in benefit but also the changes, this kind of bubble of estate agent activity could put pressure not just on people's pockets in terms of what they can spend on their housing and how they can keep a roof above their head but their ability to stay and be part of this community. Have you been spitting and polishing them again? They're looking very shiny. So you get all that for a pound. Better value than Tesco. This market is serving everyone. Um, you know, we are a very diverse community in Walthamstow and literally there is old and new in terms of what you can buy here, in terms of the people who are coming and, and shopping here. It is a very strong focal point for people. I want people coming to Walthamstow spending their money in our local community because that helps regenerate it and we've got a task of regeneration um, and I want them spending money on our shopping centre and I want them spending money developing our sites we want the best deal all the high streets have deteriorated all yeah. the markets Roman Road, Petticoat Lane, Walthamstow I mean this used to be you know very very buzzy I mean I've been here 37 years and I'll be honest with you my basic uh, set of people are the Asian community. They're my customers have been with me for years and their children shop with me and their children. They trust me. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you're talking about new blood at the moment, there's no, not really. I don't want us to be like Borough because Borough and those parts of London I see as very anonymous. And actually, what, why did I stay in Walthamstow? Because it was friendly, because it had that community spirit, because you and I can have banter in a way that um, other parts of London I don't see. I see people living like ships that pass in the night. Well, this is Walthamstow Village. Walthamstow Village has always been the uh, kind of more more posher end of Walthamstow, frankly. It has really, really gone up as an area. Lots of very, very nice restaurants, um, lots of lovely, interesting independent shops. There's a number of different communities here. The ones that are making the difference are the white professionals, but we've got a lot of other communities that have been attracted as Walthamstow as a good place to live. And the biggest challenge in that age of diversity is getting a genuine sense of community together and communities that can live along and work and enjoy life alongside each other. Almost the last 18 months, it's really felt some kind of real, also all the little markets and the little fairs, and I think they, they're an indication that things are changing. This is not only the best convenience store in Britain, it won the Grocer of the Year Award, it's in the finals of the best convenience store in the world. I've had the store about six years uh, and the restaurant next door about five years now. The village has, has always been a fundamentally great part of Walthamstow. Um, and I think with a lot of the shops popping up and the different places giving, offering different things, it just shows the strength of independence in the area, which is great. People are coming to Walthamstow now as a tourist destination, uh, and I'm very proud of that. Um, but it brings with it new challenges about how do you make sure that with that investment, with that interest in a community, it doesn't drive out people or it doesn't make it exclusive, because that's not what I think people would want in Walthamstow.